Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to your small pet habitats. It started out just being rabbits and hamsters, but then it changed to rabbits, hamsters, and guinea pigs. So I'm going to have segments. There are three hamster cages, two guinea pig cages, and three bunny cages that I want to show you. And I'm just going to review them and give you guys any tips and advice for your animal care. So let's get right into the video. First, let's take a look at the hamster cages. The first hamster cage we're gonna look at is a hamster cage for a hybrid dwarf. I can't pronounce the name, I'm so sorry. It's, uh, I'll put the spelling up on the screen. I just don't wanna pronounce it wrong. It's 120 uh, by 50 centimeters and 20 centimeters of bedding and it's spruce bedding. It said it's a 30 centimeter wheel. There are some different textures like coconut husk, coconut soil, beach chips, moss, paper bedding, and sand. The heavy items are on stilts. The branches in the enclosure are birch and willow from our garden. That's great that you're using um, stuff from your garden because it's just great for hamsters and it's cheap, so that's good. And those are both safe woods. And you said you scatter feed and you use a water dish. I prefer water dishes over bottles, so that's great, but I don't really have like one side only. It's not a black and white issue for me. So I think that's great that you use a water dish. And you say there's a multi-chamber hide that you made yourself. And that's really cool that you made one yourself. Um, and there are a few different types of sprays like flax, millet, oat, etc. And you also added a picture of his temporary bin cage. And the bin cage has around 20 to 25 centimeters of bedding and the same highs and textures as the bigger enclosure. And she said she's using the temporary bin cage because she is going on a vacation. And I'm assuming she's bringing her hamster with her. So she needed to make the cage more transportable so she uh got a bin cage so i think that's great i honestly don't think there's anything that you need to improve for this cage i also see that you have like a little multi uh looks like a little peak box down there that maybe you can see your hamster burrowing that's really good you have some really great toys in there and it's very cluttered i love the size um and I just love how much bedding you have. Thank you so much for submitting. I love everything about these cages and you're doing such a great job in your hamster care. The next hamster cage we're gonna show is an Ikea Detoff hamster cage for an absolutely adorable hamster named Pike. And now I'm just gonna read what she uh, wrote. She says, anyways, this cage design was made for my hamster Pike, an absolute burr. He loves to move around sneakily through the cage, so there are many hiding places to make him feel comfortable. There's a big sand area for him on the left side. He really enjoys having two wheels to run on. He always switches between them, that's adorable. On the right side, we have his burrow area, and he happily makes use of his space. He loves his underground hideouts. He has a variety of sprays. I know I've already said this, but Pike is so cute. I just love him. Um, I love the moss you have. It's so beautiful. The bendy bridges are amazing as well. Um, I noticed on some of your bendy bridges, you did not put moss over them, but then on some of them you did. Um, I just, you probably know this, but like, their toes can get stuck in between the bendy bridges. So if you do not have anything over it, then maybe putting like moss or bedding over it would be smart just so your hamster's little toes or nails don't get stuck in them. Um, another thing I would also mention is um, it looks like you have a softwood hideout right there in the corner. And I'm not completely sure of this, but I have heard people say that they can leak resin, which can be harmful to the hamsters. Um, you need to do more research on that because I really haven't, but I would just look that up and make sure it's safe for them because you don't want to risk anything. Um, I just think you might want to look that up. Your cage is so great. I love this. I wish my hamster cage looked like this. And I also liked how you modified the Detoff. It looks like you flipped it 
over on the side instead of how people how I've seen other people do it so you could have like a little opening she also mentioned she does have a door on top she just took it off because it was glary um, the sand area is great I like how you provided a big spot and I love all the secret little entrances and the little peep tunnels you have it's just all really amazing thank you for submitting and you're doing such a great job Okay, this next enclosure appears to be a DIY enclosure for a female long-haired Syrian named Ginger. She is so cute, and I love how fluffy she seems. This is what she wrote. She lives in a 2 foot by 4 foot enclosure. She has about 9 to 10 inches of bedding, which is great. Um, she has a 12 inch wheel that's also incredible. And about 4 different substrates including reptile bark, paper shreds, aspen, corn cob, she also has a really big sand bath, which is also great. Hamsters love sand baths, and that is also really good for their fur. And then she also says in a different corner, she has some sprays scattered around the cage as well. And I like that you have sprays and different substrates. Um, it looks like you've made some DIY platforms in there. Um, and also having a multi-chamber hideout is great. Um, I just really like the look of it. Thank you so much for submitting your hamster enclosure. You're doing a great job as well. Now we're going to take a look at some of the guinea pig cages. This first guinea pig cage was submitted by Libby's Piggies. She does have a YouTube channel. Go check her out. And she says, hi, this is my four female guinea pigs cage. It's a five by six cage with 13 inch grids and I use fleece as a bedding, but I also have four large litter boxes right now. I only have three piggies in the cage as one has a respiratory infection, so, so she is being kept in a temporary setup, but hopefully she'll be feeling better soon. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope your piggy is feeling better soon and I'll be praying for her. Um, let's see what she says next. She said they have six water sources. During the winter, they live in a cage that is twice the size. Wow, that is huge. Your guinea pig cage is already way above the minimum. So great job to you. Um, you said, I am a bit low on toys right now, but I've ordered more and plan to get a snuffle mat too. Oh, that's great. I've, I've heard piggies really like that. Um, it's great that you're getting more toys. Um, you said they get unlimited meadow slash timothy hay. That's what my rabbit has. And you also said, which she gives in big piles. You give them in big piles located in the litter box and in hay holders too. So that's great. I love the little castle hide. I just think it's the most adorable thing ever. I want one for my rabbit. Of course, like a rabbit sized one. And I love the feet fleece. It's just so, so cute. I love the snuggly tunnels that you have. The, the donut cage itself is amazing. And your piggies have a blast in there, I assume. They just must love it. It's huge. And I love that fleece. That's so cute. Thank you so much for submitting. And let's get to the next cage. Okay, so this next one is from uh, the guinea pigs. Um... And she says, this is my four female guinea pig setup. Um, and she also told us the names. So the first one is Sunday, Strawberry, Fiona, and Luna. I love those names. My dog's name is Luna, so and that's also funny. also that, uh, I think it's like called Harlequin one. It reminds me so much of Honey. I love it. I want a guinea pig like that. It's so cute. Um, she says they live in a roughly... 2 by 10 CNC cage that I assume she's put together herself and she says they have two litter boxes full of hay and get two tablespoons each of pellets each day that's great they get two water bowls and two water bottles that's great that you give them the option and you also have multiple water so sources so they don't get in little squabbles over it and you said they have a bunch of hides and tunnels all around the cage that's great um, and oh wow i just love the aesthetics of it i love the little vines in the background and all the fleece um the pictures in the background are so cute oh my goodness i love them did you draw those yourself if you did good job um i just love all the hides and everything you have 
Your piggies are absolutely adorable and I just love them so much. Great job, keep up the good work. Um, thank you for submitting and I also should mention that she has sent me three submissions for her pets. So I wanna say thank you so much for submitting all your pets and she owns a hamster, rabbit, and four guinea pigs so that's amazing. Um, that's just great that you have so many small pets. Um, great job. Thank you for the submission. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at the bunny cages, which was actually supposed to be the original video, but it turned into a whole big thing. And this is from the same person who sent me the last photos. This is her bunny, Oliver. She says, this is my male bunny, Oliver's free roaming setup. He has a big litter box full of hay and he gets veggies and a measured amount she of pellets. She says he has some rugs for traction and some hides scattered around. He's not really into toys, so he has three enrichment items slash activities. A snuggle mat, DIY dig box, and a cardboard uh, snuffle mat toy as well. He has two water bowls. Um, that's great that you're not using water bottles. I definitely do not recommend bottles for bunnies because they can drink as much as a small dog. So that's great, I'm against uh, bottles for rabbits. She also says she's hopefully giving him a friend soon, which is great because rabbits are social animals and do best in pairs. There are single rabbits who can do fine, but it's best to get them pairs. Um, I don't have anything bad to say. I love your setup. I love all the toys and hideouts you give. Um, I love that you have your guinea pigs in the same room and you're just doing an amazing job. The next rabbit cage we are looking at is an outdoor rabbit hutch. Um, I do want to mention that I am not against outdoor rabbit care as long as it is done properly. Um, this hutch is uh, 8 feet, I'm pretty sure she said. And 8 feet is the, rec is the minimum for rabbits, so it is okay because it does meet the um, minimum. And she also has a playpen outside and has protected it well, so I do think this is okay. She also lets her rabbit inside whenever there are storms and uh, does have a little backup plan if anything ever happens. I really like that you've attached the X-Pen to make it larger so your rabbit can get exercise. I see you have baby stacking cups. That's great. One thing I might recommend is putting like a rug in the hutch so then your rabbit has some traction. Like maybe like a little blanket in this room so whenever it's a little bit colder he can get snuggly. I know some rabbits don't do well. And also another thing I would recommend is that looks to be a corner litter box. Um, if your rabbit does find it, it's not really a big deal. But some rabbits do better with cat sized litter boxes. I don't know if you could fit that in. But you might want to if you're having any trouble with the litter training. Um, yeah, the only recommendations I would say is maybe put a rug or something in there for traction. I really like that you have some toys for him to play with. And the bunny's name is Twix, I totally forgot. You could possibly get him a larger water bowl, but uh, just with the smaller ones, you need to be very on top of it and make sure you're refilling it whenever it's low. I might also recommend if there's a top that you could get or like drape a blanket over the outside just so predators don't get him. There might not be predators, so that's fine. Just to be safe and that does look like a shorter x-pen i think you're aware of this um if he can jump over you might want to look for a taller one um you could look on chewy.com or amazon but if he doesn't jump over it then that's probably fine i see you do have a blankie in there so that's good and i'm assuming the hay is in that bag but a uh, little tip you might want to do is put the hay in the litter box because a lot of times rabbits will actually eat while they're going to the bathroom, so that could definitely help. Overall, I really like your setup, and I think you're doing such a great job. Thank you for the submission. Okay, the next rabbit habitat we're gonna look at is one for two female rabbits who are both 10 months old. I'm sure they're a little bit older by now because I posted this thing multiple months ago, so sorry about that. Um, their names are Lilac and Jasmine, and I love those names. They kind of go together, and they're just so cute. And she says they have a large litter box, they have multiple hides, um, 
I love the tunnel you have. It looks like you have snuffle mat. I love the way your room is. The aesthetics are amazing. Looks like you have an enrichment toy. I love that pink chair and it looks like you covered it with a blanket maybe to protect it. And that little cat hideout is so great. I really want one of those. Uh, it looks like you have some chew toys and I love that little flower bed. It's so cute. Thank you for submitting. And that concludes our video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that like button and that notification bell and hit the subscribe button as well. Um, I do have a part one to this video. So if you have not watched that, go check that one out. Um, that one is just hamster cages, by the way, though. So if you have hamsters, definitely go check that out. And thank you for submitting ev to everyone who submitted. I'm sorry if I didn't get around to yours. I do think I didn't get two of them, but it just ended up being super long. And I actually lost a few of the submissions. So if you did not get into it this time, make sure you submit next time. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know every, th every time we're making a new video. Go to my community page. That's where I post everything. And you guys can give me your video ideas and tell me what you guys want to see. So then it's more of not just me choosing everything and having to come up with everything. Again, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!